Talos Magic Talk Show brought to you by Talos Master G C Food and Team Yet Dragon Talosum. Puriang Tenjon. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. This is your G C Food, and today is Chinese New Year. Um. If this show is going to be released on the right day, okay. So this is the Chinese New Year, and so Happy New Year, everyone. Gong Hei Fa Choi. So ah, we talk about Gong Hei Fa Choi. What is that? What are these greetings that people say? Does it work? Does it do anything? You go around, you know. Hey, Gong Hei Fa Choi. You know, a lot of those greetings are just empty words, meaningless. Empty words, and I know, you know that it's part of the culture, right? People go around saying, "Oh, Happy New Year," but are they actually wishing you a Happy New Year? Ah, oh, I'm going to give you guys a little twist on this subject today. When people are greetings and going around, you know, in the office, in school, or maybe I don't know whatever social circle, right? Maybe even online, and they go around and greet people, seasonal greetings. You know, like Happy New Year, right? Are they actually doing something good to you? How come there are people? And I don't know if you realize, but after those Happy New Year, you kind of get some bad luck, huh? What's going on? What's going? Oh, 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 I know why. I know, I know why you're here for this show, because this is not your ordinary kind of show that only talks about the sugar, you know, the positive side of things that everyone just do. I'm sick and tired of that. Come on, let's kick into the, the reality, okay? We are Talos. We know how energy works, and we know that there are some a holes going around. Saying Happy New Year and doing crap on you, we know that. So we got to educate you guys and let you be aware of what this is and how to prevent it. Okay, now let's get into the meat, huh? Okay, so <laughs> um, let's talk about greetings. Okay, it's a natural way of human doing magic. It's magic. What is magic? Magic is a way to use your pre-heaven powers, your pre-heaven energy, your heart energy, the energy in your heart that originates from your pool of life force, your life power, your life potentials, those things in your spiritual planetary body. Okay, so. You can imagine you have a spiritual planetary body, like your own planet. The energy of this planet fuels your life here. Okay, so let's say you have 100 points of this energy coming down. I can choose to say, okay, let me give one to this person, ten to this person. My mom got 30, you know, like that. You can choose to gift it to other people, so you're kind of like worried now. Oh my! So if I give it to other people, then I will have less. Well, yeah, in a way. But at the same time, if the other person also wish you back something, then you will not lose because it's like you boost them, they boost you, and it's like a you know fair game, right? Everyone get better. So. It's okay, you know, if everyone is doing it uh, nicely, <laughs> then then it's okay. Huh. But there are people who are not realizing that if you keep giving your life resources away to the wrong people and they are not good to you, then you're basically just like pouring money out of your bank for nothing in return. That's not good, right? So are you gonna go around and be your Show show butterfly, you know, truthfully wishing everyone will be a ha happy guy this year. Mm, you gotta beware of who you're greeting now, huh? 
That's right. And what is that greeting or wish? How does it work? Well, it works because, first of all, it needs to be truthful for it to work the way it should. So, okay, it has three elements. Three elements. The first one is the intention, like why you do this. Okay. The second one, it's delivered by the words. Words are like they're like wind. It pushes and like move those energy over. Okay. The intention is like an arrow. It points to the direction and focus to where these energy are going. And then the words pushes them that way. And at the end is the physical element that actually delivers the, the, the final thing to the other side. It could be delivered to the other side externally or internally. So what's happening is your pre-heaven energy is inside your energy body in the core inside. Okay. Now you imagine yourself is like a big ball and inside the middle, you have this energy um, bank. Okay. Like your battery, like a bank. Okay. So it's in the middle. When you wish someone truthfully, right? What you're doing is you're directing those resources in the middle of your heart to flow through the system and then go to the other side and so they can have it. When they receive it, there are different ways, okay? Like if, if the energy goes to their outside, like external, for example, uh, I gift someone let's say, a decoration that they can put at home. So the decoration holds those energy. And now these energies are externally, like outside of the person that received it, right? Or I can put it into something that they can consume, such as food or drinks. And now the energy goes inside them and it will affect them differently. This relates to... Um, our theory that, that we have when we deal with like exorcism and things like that. Um, this is a shortcut, okay? You can remember this way. External affects the internal. Internal affects your external. So in exorcism, let's say you have evil energy, evil spirit, evil something, okay? The evils are inside your body. It will affect you externally, physically. What that means is that if there's evil thing inside you, it's going to cause your body to do things that will hurt yourself, or you will always like have accident, um, like out of the blue, you just bang yourself into something and then hurt yourself, or you will somehow bleed, or your body will have something wrong going on like that. That's because the stuff is inside you. When the stuff is outside of you, external, it will affect the inside of you, which is your soul. The way you think, you know, like if the evil is outside, you know, around you, it will cause you to have weird thoughts. It will cause you to have emotional wrecks and emotional problems. It will, it might get you like very hot headed and things like, you know, the, the feeling, the thinking, those things that got affected. So, now, let's not talk about evil. What about the wish that is good for people? Let's say you wish uh, your parents, uh, may you have like good, good health this year, right? And you treat them to dinner. So the wish is like the intention. You truthfully want them to have better health. You say it to them, which directs the energy that way. And it's during... Uh, a dinner, okay? So like, your cheers! Oh, good, good health this year! And then everyone drinks the water, right? Or, or wine or whatever, right? So when you drink, those energy goes to the drink. They drink it, the energy that, like, that is from you goes into their body. So it's an internal element right now. It affects the external. So that, like, now they're going to have 
uh, like physical benefit. It's going to affect the body to feel like stronger, more like support on the body, things like that. That's like a physical health, right? That that's good. You treat them to dinner. You know, they have physical external uh, benefits. What about like let's say you give them a jacket and they wear the jacket or or clothing something like that. So okay, if you give them something external, right? They don't consume it. Then it stays outside. It affects their internal. So they might feel more energized, more like less tired all the time, things like that, right? You can give people, you know, like give them a pajama or something like that, right? And they wear it at home. They feel nicer inside, inside, you know, more comfortable inside. That's also a, a form, uh, a way to have good health, right? Like not just the outside, but also the inside kind of health. So you see, you can have both. <laughs> you can have both too. It's nice, right? So that's how it works. Your pre-heaven energy got delivered to the other side through a gift. It could be physical uh, plus the word. It can be something that can be consumed or something that doesn't get consumed. It stays outside. Uh, so now you know about the elements. Let's talk about the details. How things can go wrong. So you got this a hole, a hole come to your house, and they say, "Oh, happy New Year! Oh yeah, all the best!" You know, and then they give you something with a bad intention. You know, they are maybe they're jealous of your career. They don't want you to have any success this year, right? And their words are like, "Happy New Year! Wish you all the best luck!" And then you know, words are fake. Like their words don't match with the intention, so they are like you know like poison with sugar coat on top. So the word doesn't really matter, you know. <laughs> you know, like people wish your business would do well, and then inside is like they they want your business to crash, just like that, right? Like a poison with sugar coat. But you cannot tell, or you might be, but you're not sure about like what the actual intention is, and then they give you something. So they give you, let's say, uh, this is a real example, okay? Um, so I have this this client. He got a plant, like you know, pottery plant, in a pot. <laughs> okay. So someone wished them good business, and they gave them like some plant, and the plant stays inside the the place, right? So you see, this thing is like external. It doesn't get consumed by the person. But the energy is like, you know, you're like putting a stink bomb, and release it there, and it's like constantly spraying around those bad pre heaven energy. So what are they doing? They're cursing this business. While this plant sticks around, the, <laughs> those energy keep whoosh everywhere. And it affects everyone that work there, and it affects the luck as well because it soak into everything. It's like a virus; it contaminate into other things. Oh my! So, what do you do when you're like you know facing these kind of problem and you have no choice? You know, you cannot control and say, "Oh, don't give me this." You cannot do that. You know, if you're like a real business with a store, you know, you cannot really just. Oh thanks, no, 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 thanks. Just take away your gift. You cannot do that, right? It's so rude. So what do you do? Well, the best thing you can do is after the event, then you clear everything out and just trash it out. Don't keep things forever, you know. Just okay, event's done, clear. Everything's gone, you know, like that. Then you make sure nothing stays behind. That's a good idea. If you're like in the house, you know. Oh, it's just like you know, for the for the few days of the new year, and then we're gonna clear everything out. It's fine. Why not? <laughs> Why do you need to keep things around, right? Now there are people who have this tradition of like re-gifting, right? They keep the gift, and then later on they give it back to the other other people. Uh, not a good idea. Okay, like you never know what that energy is inside. If it's a curse, like a bad energy, and you kept it and you gift it to someone else, it's like yeah, your and your your wish, your intention might be good, 
but you're like putting like your sugar on top of poison and then give it to other people. It's still going to, you know, it's still not that great. So don't do that. Buy something fresh, right? Uh, and also, if you keep those things in the house, imagine like, I, oh, I just put it like, you know, inside my storage. Those energy crawls around. It contaminates everywhere. <laughs> so do you want that? No, right? It's not a good idea. Uh, so when you wish people, now you know, wish is not that simple. Especially when you're like, uh, like people ha- like, you know, go to dinner or something and they, t- they, they will like toast the wine and liquor. Hey, oh, happy new year. Yeah, cheers. And everyone drink, right? That drink is like the medium. You drink, energy goes into you. It works. It works. It's why does it not work that much? It's because maybe other people are just saying it and they don't mean it. Or maybe like out of 10 people, five or six have bad intention. Four have good intention. Well, blend them together, you get nothing, right? That's why. But if everyone is having good intention doing at the same time, it really works. That is a way to put your pre-heaven energy to gift it to other people, to boost and help others uh, for that event. It works, okay? Now, as a talus, how do we do it? Well, we don't give our own life resources away. We give the Tao's resources. So before we greet people, we see each other, right? The first thing we say is, Hu Liang Tian Zhan. That is like the way we say, Oh, all the gods above. Immediately we call the gods. And then we greet on behalf of the gods. So we are like asking the god to bless them instead of our own heart energy, you know, gifting it to the other person. And it's actually better. Because why? It's stronger, it's more pure, it's cultivated, it's better. You know, you remove all that crap. So that's nice, right? You ensure everything is going the right way. Huh? And you're not gifting away your own life resources because you don't have to. Right? Why, why do you have to when you have a better option? <laughs> right? So if in case you have like, you know, went to someone's house and maybe someone talk to you on the phone and greet you with bad intention. How can you deal with that? Okay. Well, if you're a disciple, well, you can go to like, go to a website, get free initiation done, right? You can use what we call the Jing spell, the purifying spell to cleanse those things out. So after a day of socializing, you do those cleansing spell. It can cleanse away the negative uh, connection negative intention and all that stuff, it clears away from your body. So you do that at night with the intention of clearing away any unwanted or unpleasant energy that you picked up on the day. Then you're good. You see, this is why you need to learn Talus Magic. It's so important. And you can also understand how this thing can like to go wrong and not like, oh, it's a happy thing. Why, why, why will it go wrong? You know? It looks happy on the surface, but it can really go wrong because there's a lot of a-hole in this world, right? So, you know, you know, spiritual self-defense. That's why you need Talus Magic. And again, I'm seeing it again, okay? Check out our website because we have free initiation option. So if you're not ready to like commit that much to get ordained, you can try and do the free initiation. If you are... Like one day you say, oh, this is not for me. Then you can quit, right? You can just withdraw and let me know. It's fine. But at least you get to give yourself a chance to try how these magic can help to change your life. Just imagine that many pollution going on during the seasonal greetings, right? If you can cleanse it up and remove those influence from your life, now you might get what your life was supposed to be back oh yeah hmm right see you in the next episode bye